Welcome to English Grade 6, Quarter 1, Module 1, World of Reality and Fantasy. Hello everyone! Bago natin buksan ang ating module, ay meron munang mga few reminders na kailangan lang nating sundin. Una, use the module with care. Do not put unnecessary marks on any part of the module. Use a separate sheet of paper in answering the exercises. Wala pong magsusulat sa module. Number two, don't forget to answer what I know before moving on to the other activities included in the module. Dapat ay sagutan muna natin yung what I know na exercises na makikita natin sa module. Number three, read the instruction carefully before doing each task. Kailangan nating basahin ito ng maayos at ng maintindihan natin kung ano ang gustong ipagawa sa atin. Number four, observe honesty and integrity in doing the tasks and checking your answers. Number five, finish the task at hand before proceeding to the next. Wag muna kayong sumagot sa ibang mga exercises hanggat hindi nyo natatapos yung naunang exercises. And number six, return this module to your teacher once you are through with it. Sa atin, every Friday, ay i-re-return natin ang ating module at kukuha tayo ulit ng panibagong module. Gets na ba? Kung gets na, ay magpapatuloy na tayo. In this module, ay may tatlo tayong lessons na pag-aaralan. Ang lesson 1 ay analyzing figures of speech, particularly the hyperbole and the irony. Ang lesson 2 naman ay inferring meaning of idiomatic expression. Samantalang ang pangatlong lesson sa module na ito ay it's all about identifying real or make-believe images. In this now, let's proceed to the page 2 of the module, What I Know. You have to read and understand the statements very well. Answer what is asked by choosing your best response. Remember, wag sulatan ang module. Let's begin with number 1. Which of the following shows a real scenario inside a classroom? A. Books and erasers flying around. B. Teacher talking in front of class. Letter C. Chairs and tables laughing around. Number 2. My aunt lived in an ice castle in Baguio. This statement is blank. A. Real. B. Make believe. C. Either real or make believe. Write your answers now. Number three. Our teacher has an undying love for dancing since she was small. From this statement, one can say that blank. A. The teacher died because of dancing. B. The teacher loved to dance. Or letter C. The teacher never stopped dancing. Ready for your answers? Now, write it down in your notebook. For number four, which statement expresses exaggeration? A. A woman driving at a speed of 300 kilometers per hour. B. A baby walking at 12 months. Letter C. An old man slowly crossing the street. Can you choose now your answers? Now, write it down in your notebook. For number 5, I always have butterflies in my stomach whenever I perform on stage. The statement tells us that the person talking is blank. A. Has fear of performing on stage. B. 
has butterflies inside the stomach? C. Has experienced a stomach ache. Ready to answer? Good. Just like what I said a while ago, that in this mojo, we have three lessons. Now, on page 3 of this mojo is the first lesson, which has a title, Analyzing Figures of Speech, Particularly Hyperbole and Irony. Now, look at the picture. The picture is a mother and a baby. The mother tells the baby, I love you a million times. Did your mother say I love you to you? Yes or no? To continue, using your notebook and your ball pen, write yes or no. There are lots of things that we are capable of doing. In the next activity, answer the questions honestly. Can you do the following? Nagagawa niyo ba ang mga sumusunod? Number one, climb a mango tree. Yes or no? Write it down. Number two, carry a pail of water. Yes or no? Number three, eat a whole cow. Yes or no? Number four, kiss a snake. Yes or no? And number five, ride a bike. Yes or no? Remember to answer the questions honestly. On page four of the module, we can see two friends talking with one another. It's Mona and Elsa. Mona said, Hello, Elsa. My pet dog, Aki, died yesterday, and I cried a river. Elsa answered, Oh, yes, I am happy to hear that, Mona. Now, you can look for a new pet. My heart is bleeding with sadness, Mona answers. And then Elsa replies, Well, go to the party so you'll forget about Aki. You are one lucky fellow, for you now have an angel. Based on the comic strip, I'll be asking you a question. You have to answer it in your own mind. Question number one. Can Mona cry a river? Number two. Is it okay for Elsa to be happy when Mona's pet dog died? And number three, does a heart bleed because of sadness? Now, it's your time to answer using your own mind. Now, you have to listen to me because I will be going to discuss to you the page five of the module. Under what is it? Figurative language or figures of speech are ways of expressing ideas by using symbols, figures, or likenesses. It is the opposite of literal language because it this does not tell directly what a person has in mind. To name some examples are simile, which is a comparison of two unlike objects using like or us. Metaphor, a direct comparison of two unlike objects without using like or as. And personification, a figure of speech that gives human qualities to places, objects, animals, or ideas. 
that three figurative language, the simile, the metaphor, and personification has already introduced to you during your grade five years. Now, in addition to the given examples of figurative language that we use, we also have hyperbole and irony. So that is our topic for today. What is hyperbole? Hyperbole is a figure of speech that expresses overstatement and exaggeration of a particular condition. Remember, when we say overstatement or exaggeration, yung sobra na sobra ang pagkabigay. Statements expressing hyperbole are also called hyperbolic statements. In the conversation on page 4, balikan natin yung conversation ni Mona at ni Elsa sa page 4. Now, pwede ba ninyong tingnan ang module ninyo sa page 4? Ang sabi ni Mona, I cried a river and my heart is bleeding with sadness. Those are examples of hyperbole. Yung napasobra ang pagkasabi. I cried a river. Paglumuluha ba ang tao? Lalabas ba sa ating mga mata ang parang river na mga luha? Di ba hindi? So, over ang pagkasabi and it is exaggerated. Therefore, I cried a river is an example of hyperbole. Another, my heart is bleeding with sadness. Ang tanong ko, nagdurugo ba ang ating mga heart kung tayo ay malungkot? Di ba hindi? Kasi normal sa heart na nagpapump ng blood. So this statement is an example of another overstatement and exaggeration. Therefore, it is an example of an hyperbole. Did you get it? Again, Uulitin ko, pag sinabi nating hyperbole, ito yung mga sentence na over ang pagkasabi at inexaggerate. In Kung sa Bisaya pa, gipasobrahan o OA rakaayo ang pagkasulti. Did you get it, class? Very good. Another examples of hyperbole includes, number one, my world turned upside down. Bumabaliktad ang aking mundo. That is exaggeration. Number two, your voice is deafening. Nakakabingi talaga ang boses mo. Another exaggeration. Number three, the heat of my body can produce fire. Ang init ng aking katawan ay nakakapagsimula ng apoy. Another exaggeration. These three sentences are examples of hyperbole. Bakit? Kasi exaggerated ang pagkasabi or over ang statement na pagkasabi. Ngayon, natapos na tayo sa hyperbole. Punta tayo ngayon sa pangalawang figure of speech na pag-aaralan natin, which is the irony. Irony, on the other hand, is a figure of speech that expresses the contrary or opposite of what should one really think, especially in order to be funny. Pag sinabing irony, yung nakakatawa na mga statement. It is also called an ironic statement. The words used in ironic statements express praise or approval. However, the real purpose is to criticize, to mock, or to ridicule. Notice in the conversation on page 4, balikan natin ang conversation sa page 4, that Mona was happy for discovering the death of Elsa's pet dog rather than being sad for her. Kung babalikan natin yung sinabi ni Mona sa page 4, sinabi niya, I'm happy. Na happy siya na namatay yung pet dog ni Elsa. 
dapat ay naging sad siya. So, nakakatawa yung sinabi niya kasi imbes na masad siya, sinabi niya na happy siya. And that is an example of an irony. Another examples are, number one, the teacher fails the test. Ang teacher bumagsak sa test. Nakakatawa siya kasi teacher na nga bumagsak pa. Number two, the shoemaker's children have no shoes. Ang mga anak ng tagagawa ng sapatos ay walang sapatos. Nakakatawa pa rin siya kasi tagagawa na siya ng sapatos ngunit walang sapatos ang kanyang mga anak. Number three, the doctor died of pneumonia. Namatay ang doktor dahil sa pneumonia. Nakakatawa siya kasi doktor siya ngunit hindi niya nagamot ang kanyang sarili dahil sa pneumonia. Those three sentences are examples of irony. Did you get it now? Very good. Now, using your notebook. Again, do not answer in the module. Answer the following statements. Write A or isulat ang letter A if it is a hyperbole, which expresses exaggeration. Something that is unbelievable to happen. Write B or isulat nyo ang titik B if it is an irony which expresses the contrary or opposite of what is said. Number one. Are you ready? Good. Isulat ang A if it is hyperbole at B naman kung ito ay irony. Number one. The police station gets robbed by the policeman on duty. Number two. My dad will kill me when he comes home and sees the house in chaos. Number three. I turn the house upside down before finding my new shoes. Number four. A newly hired pilot was afraid of heights. And number five, he runs faster than the wind. I repeat. Number one, the police station gets robbed by the policeman on duty. Number two, my dad will kill me when he comes home and sees the house in chaos. Number three, I turn the house upside down before finding my new shoes. Number four, a newly hired pilot was afraid of heights. And number five, he runs faster than the wind. Write A if it is hyperbole and B if it is irony. Remember, wag sulatan ang module. Based on what we've discussed a while ago, we can say that figurative language is a way of speaking or writing in which the speaker or writer describes things in a new or different way. It is also called figures of speech. Some examples introduced earlier are simile, metaphor, and personification. Ibig sabihin, pag gumamit ka ng figurative language, ay hindi mo diretsong sinasabi kung ano ang iyong nararamdaman. Ngunit, sinabi mo ito sa pamamagitan ng ibang paraan. That is figurative language. 
Hyperbole or hyperbolic statements are exaggerated statements that are almost impossible to believe since they may never or happen or exist. Pag sinabing hyperbole, ito yung mga exaggerated, sobra na mga statement na halos hindi ka pani-paniwala na nangyari. Irony or ironic statements, on the other hand, expresses idea or situation that are opposite or in contrast of what is expected to happen or what is said in mind. When we say irony, ito yung kabaliktaran ng sinasabi mo. Just like examples on page 4, imbes na sinabi niya na sad, sinabi niya na happy. As a return, ito ay nakakatawa. Analyzing figures of speech requires understanding of their meaning and use in sentences. Each figure of speech has its distinct and unique characteristic. Clue words found in sentences usually give a clear picture or idea on what figure of speech was used. In a sentence, may mga sinasabi tayong clue words. At yung mga clue words na sinasabi, siya ang magtuturo or magsasabi sa atin kung anong figurative language ang ginamit sa isang sentence. Dapat lang ay marunong kayong humanap ng mga clue words sa iba't ibang sentences at nang malaman ninyo kung anong klaseng figurative language ang ginamit. Unconsciously, we also use figures of speech in expressing our everyday ideas. May it be written or expressed orally. So sa hindi natin inaasahan, hindi natin alam, ay ginagamit natin itong figurative language araw-araw. Sa kung ano ang gusto nating sabihin at ano ang gusto nating gawin at sinasabi natin ito. Example. Mamatay ko o wala ko'y baon. That is exaggeration. So, ginagamit natin ito every day. Ngunit hindi natin alam kung anong figurative language ang ating ginamit. Got it? Very good. Now, on page 7 of your module, what I can do? There are 10 sentences there. At meron din tayo nakitang table sa baba. Ang isang hanay ay para sa hyperbole and the other one is for the irony. What you need to do is to read and analyze if the statements express exaggeration or ironic ideas. Write the sentences in the correct column of the table provided. Note, clue words were underlined to help you. So in every sentence, meron tayong in-underline ng mga words dyan. And that is what we call the clue words. You need to put the right sentences either if it is in hyperbole or it is in irony. So sa inyong notebook ay gumuhit din kayo ng ganyang table. At isusulat na lang ninyo sa baba kung ang sentence number 1 ba ay nasa hyperbole or nasa irony. You get it? Very good. Now, let's start. Number one, I can see the germs with my naked eyes. Number two, my dad has iron hands that could lift a 10-story building. Number three, our teacher gave Elna a 100% grade for failing the test. Number four, I have read the book a hundred times. Number five, the dentist suffers a disturbing toothache. Number six, old folks attended the baby party. Number seven, the man did not sleep for one year while waiting for his wife to come home. Number eight, we counted a million times before he blew his candles. Number nine, Lisa's wedding day was showered with a heavy rain. Number ten, the chicken ate a whole cow. Now, I will be giving you 20 minutes in answering the sentences. Are you ready?
So this is the table which you will be going to place your answer. The hyperbole and the irony. So you need to place the sentences if you think it is a hyperbole sentence and you place under irony table the sentences that you think is using an ironic statements. I know that you have learned a lot using hyperbole or irony. Now, I'll be going to give you a quiz. This is a five item quiz. There is an underlined words or the clue words that will let you know if it is a hyperbole or irony. Draw a circle or gumuhit ng circle if you think it is a hyperbole. At gumuhit kayo ng box if it is an irony. Remember, answer this using your notebook. Circle for hyperbole and box for irony. Number one, an engineer can build a mansion for one day. Number two, babies can run at six months. Number three, the fire station got burned down. Number four, the children clapped their hands to the late teacher. Number five, the sun greeted the whole city with a big smile. Are you ready? You can now answer this activity. Remember to draw a circle if it is hyperbole and to draw a box if it is an irony. No answer should be placed in the module. Lahat ng mga sagot ay makikita dapat sa ating notebook. On page 8 of the module, there is an additional activity. There is a short selection there. You have to look and underline the hyperbolic sentences and circle the ironic sentences. So may short na selection na makikita tayo. Hanapin nyo at i-underline nyo yung mga hyperbolic sentences at i-circle nyo naman yung mga ironic sentences. Now, I will be reading the short selection. Sabayan nyo ko gamit ang inyong mga mata. Tina broke her heart when she received the sad news late in the evening. Her grandmother passed away. How come she died so soon when she is still 95 years old? She wondered. Tina was crying a river. If only she could keep her pain and sadness inside a jar and let it sink under water. Life is really fair for taking her beloved grandmother away. How she wished her grandma was given a thousand years to live. Now, we are finished discussing lesson number one. In the next video, we will be going to discuss lesson number two. Congratulations for finishing lesson one.